What's going on YouTube? It's at JB Tech Fanatic and I'm back again with another video. And in front of us today, we got the Whole Home HD DVR Hopper. Now this is the Hopper version 3 with Sling by Dish Network. And today I decided to talk about this because I got an interesting letter in the mail today from my home internet provider who's Cox. I have been with Cox for probably about 13 years and they have great internet speeds and I'm very happy with their speeds. And I got a letter today stating that in the next few months they're going to start limiting the amount of data that we can use inside of our house and after we cross their set thresh threshold depending on you know what tier you have you are then going to have to start paying overages now this is very familiar when you're dealing with like Verizon or T-Mobile or maybe Sprint and any kind of cell phone provider but I never heard of such a thing at home but then it really dawned on me that we're in a different age. We're slowly going to digital everything. We're getting rid of our cable. We're getting rid of our satellites because there's Hulu, there's Netflix, and we don't need it anymore. And I fear what's happening is because that's happening, that they're going to just keep raising the cost of the actual data in turn making it more expensive for us to use Netflix and Hulu versus satellite. Now this is something to keep in mind because this is very, it's almost the exact same thing if you really think about it that Redbox did. Blockbuster video, Hollywood video, those places were packed with people that went and rented movies. Once the digital age started to come around, they were still packed. It wasn't until the Red Box showed up. And when Red Box showed up, basically you can go rent a movie for $1 a night. They were cheaper than anywhere else. And it was not soon after Blockbuster was shutting its doors. Hollywood Video was first. And now today, there virtually is no big places to rent movies. And now, when you go to the red box, the price is like three times as much as it was. We're actually at or more expensive renting at the red box than it was to rent at Blockbuster now. And that's our only choice. And if you're like me, you kind of start missing being able to go and pick out a movie at the video store. Anyway... Today, I wanted to tell you about the Whole Home Hopper because I just got another one sent to my house. And let me just tell you guys, first of all, Dish Network, I've been with them for a very long time. They've always been very good to me. They have great customer service, but each year they come out with better and better technology. And when I think about what kind of machine I would want powering my TVs for my Dish it is Dish Network and it's this Hopper 3. Let me tell you about it. This puts out 4K resolution. You can rent videos in 4K. In fact, the Olympics, when it uh, was on, was in 4K off the Hopper. So it also has 16 tuners. What does that mean? Well, I don't know if you've been in the situation where, let's just say you're watching your favorite uh, NFL team play, and all of a sudden, right in the middle of the game, it says, uh, turning to channel 20 because it's going to start recording uh, Desperate Housewives. And you're like, no, but there's only two tuners, so it's got to change because it's your wife. Those days are over. With 16 tuners, this is capable of recording and watching up to 16 different channels at once. Therefore, you can record all your little heart desires and won't have to worry about what you're currently viewing at that time. In addition to that, guys, it has a 2 terabyte hard drive to store your recordings. That's huge. And if you want smart features, it's got Netflix built right into it. 
including when you're searching for shows to watch, it will actually include the search in to Netflix so you can see if it's on Netflix, if it's not on TV. It has the Hopper Go feature, which is really cool. It's basically like a little hard drive that you can take with you. You plug it into this, you put all the shows you want, and then you could take it with you on vacation and you can plug it in via USB port anywhere you're at and watch what's on it. Then they have an app, okay? The Dish app, the Dish Anywhere app is the best part about this. Imagine being able to go on your tablet and you're in a different state, logging in, and it works, by the way, very well without glitch as long as you have fast Wi-Fi at home. Being able to go into your hopper, find what channel you want to watch. Let's just say the football game's on and uh, you want to watch your home game, and uh, you're in California, and you want to watch uh, the Arizona Cardinals play in Arizona. So you would go in, you would turn it to the channel, and on your tablet, you are watching live TV straight from your hopper in a different state, as long as you have, you know, a 4G connection, if you're on a cell phone provider, or Wi-Fi connection. So this thing literally does it all. That app along with all the smart features and the tuners makes this a must choice. If you are going to sign up for a cable company, Dish is the way to go. And I say that because this hopper is just awesome. It's got fast Wi-Fi, it's got apps, it's got games, and it's got a beautiful picture, guys. Like I said, it puts out to 4K resolution. And then if you want more rooms, you can get the 4K hoppers and you can add them to you know each of your room that you have the 4K TVs in. Now, you can usually get great deals when you switch companies. If you are already with Dish and you haven't upgraded in a while, call them up. They'll give you this hopper. They'll hook you up. They'll come and install it. The only reason why I got this in front of me is I had to get a, a replacement. So I'm going to be switching um, mine out uh, on my own. It's not a big deal. It's just a couple plugs. But just so you know, a couple uh, quick features. The remote is here. Um, it is a small remote. It's easy to hold. It's easy to use, easy to figure out. Um, it comes with obviously your startup guide. The sling, and that's the way that you can access it from the app is now built in. That used to have to be plugged in uh, via USB. You do not know, or you no longer have to do that. And then on the back, you got USB 2.0, USB 3.0, and then um, Ethernet and optical out. So let's see if you can get a good, that's all your ports there. So it's really simple to use. It's really simple to hook up. It's not too big. It's not too bulky. Um, and it will do everything you need it to. So again, guys, keep that in mind when you are making your choice. The hopper is a great piece of merchandise. I am not saying that others don't have cool things out there. This also, you can get a voice remote. I did review the voice remote. That was the first edition of it. Um, I'm sure that they're gonna be making some tweaks and coming out with an even better one. But if you're looking for something that is very competitively priced, they have a lot of channels, you can have a lot of TVs, a lot of tuners, and a lot of space, again, two terabytes to record, check out the Hopper. Make sure it's the third edition, so it's called the Hopper 3 Whistling. And that's it, guys. I just wanted to share that with you. Again, thank you for your support. If you have not subscribe to the channel please do so now click that thumbs up button it helps me out a ton i'm here for you guys if you have any questions hit me up in the comment section or if you want find me on facebook at jb tech fanatic guys i got nothing but love for you thank you for all the support and i'll see you in the next video peace